Fikes, please, to the hot seat. Nicholas Company, the hyperactive group, employ at the moment nine people in two years, that almost doubles to 17. Last year's turnover, 298,000. In two years, it's forecast to be 472,000. Hyperactive, they're based in Altrincham. Let's take a look at them now. Hyperactive group partners, Nicola and Alison, have pooled their resources and their considerable expertise in the fields of sales and marketing to establish this specialist company. They work exclusively for software houses, researching and investigating the markets for all their products. And the research element is critical. Obviously, products offered to the market must be sellable and marketable. Hyperactive groups are expert in this field. They are DTI marketing initiative consultants and carry out strategic marketing requirement studies. Their own staff are most experienced and they're able to call on associate consultants to advise on markets outside their sphere. Hyperactive always claim to practice what they preach. The secret of their continued success is the company ability to offer a complete range of marketing services to assist computer companies to achieve objectives common to all business, profitability and market growth. And Nicola will receive her quiz. first questions from Peter Evans. Nicola, you've now established yourself as a credible force in your marketplace. It is a highly complex market uh, with products which are difficult to understand, let alone sell. To what extent do you feel that you need to understand them? Um, we feel we need to understand them very much because that's the area why our software houses come to Hyperactive. We offer long-term business solution selling. We also offer a knowledge of the computer industry, the technical terms that the computer industry will use. But most of all, we offer the vertical markets, people like manufacturing, distribution, finance. We offer expertise in each of those areas of specialization. Do you actually research the products yourself? We most certainly do. We undertake in-depth research on the functionality of that product and how suitable that product is going to be to that target business sector, that target market that we are going to direct that software house to achieve his controlled profitability. Right. Peter Evans, a quick comment on the functionality of Hyperact? Well, I think it's a very, very well-run and managed business. Uh, it's a highly motivated team, and I've no doubt that they'll achieve their objectives. Thank All you. Right. Mr. Maunders, let's see if uh, Nicholas says thank you to you. Uh, you have plans for Southern Office, mm -hmm. uh, which is fine. Could you just assure me what steps you're taking to ensure that this expansion is not at the expense of your northwest base? Because, uh, you know, you're going down yourself, and obviously I would not see the management fall down up here. Absolutely. We have invested in uh, considering stretching the resources of the management across a much wider base. We are actually going to take down some of our middle management people in order to develop the southern office, thereby creating high-caliber jobs but we are also focusing on putting new people into administration and to finance in order so that the directors are not controlled by those particular areas of the business and we can develop and grow the business accordingly. Are you worried about people moving um, probably directions, George? Not if they buy my houses, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another wonderful advert, John, thank you. <laughs> David Taylor, your questions, please, Nicola. Nicola, you're obviously uh, this referred for saleswoman. I mean, I've watched you running some rings around the judges for weeks now, Thank so you. I mean, that's good. it's very <laughs> clear that you can, you can do that. But you, you're now very much the managing director of the business. My, my concern is that, you, are you, despite your best intentions, going to be drawn back into sales on this? Um, well, yes, and because uh, it is my area of expertise, and we do have very aggressive targets for the business, then it has been seen that I ought to follow through with the sales and the public relations of the company. But because we've invested in some very key people in other areas, such as project management, administration and finance, the people who are actually going to follow through and do the client's business, then we feel we have the best recipe to attack these very high growth targets that we've set ourselves. Are you happy that you've got the right mix in your, in your backup team, your executive team, that can cover these most certainly, areas. most certainly. Any area that we hadn't um, got a, a, the, the in-house concentration, then we took on like a non-exec finance director and advisors from our, our auditing company who actually attend our monthly right. management meetings. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop you there, Nicky. You're running rings around me as well. David, very briefly, are you worried about us staying in sales? Uh, a little bit, but I think it's a smashing business and, and Nicola clearly knows what she's, what she's doing with it. And she can keep selling? Yeah. Even to the flying star judges. <laughs> All Thank right. you. Nicola, you did very well. Thank you very much. All right, and we'll see whether Nicola 
wins tonight. Whether she's run that many rings round when we come to the judging at the very end of the competition, we've seen three of our contestants.